When troubleshooting different MAPI errors and issues, support always recommends to use Microsoft Utility MFC MAPI, especially if you see errors in the log file. The tool or utility can be easily found when using Google, and you can download it from this website. It is a good idea to download the latest release. We will save it on our hard disk drive. The tool also comes with very good documentation and it is a good idea to download and read this documentation, how to use the tool. It has many good suggestions. But we have to troubleshoot our error in the log file. We will start the tool, it doesn't require an installation. If you go to session logon, you will see all the profiles available on this computer. You can easily create a new profile. It is a good idea to create a profile for the service account and perform the same steps the agent is performing. Try to open the same mailbox. We will always find the needed information in our log file because the agent will log the server name, the legacy exchange DN of the user and even the credentials. The agent is using. I will copy the server name and I will copy from the log file the legacy exchange DN. Basically we are trying to perform exactly the same steps the agent is trying to perform and we are using exactly the same data. We will verify that the legacy exchange DN can be resolved and once we have created a profile we can open the mailbox. There is also another old-fashioned way to create a profile. Using this way we can add and remove profiles. And once a profile has been created we can finally start using the tool. We start the tool and select a profile and as you can see we don't receive any errors. We are able to open the mailbox. We can see the mailbox, the public folders and even all the PST files. If I double click on the mailbox the tool will open the mailbox. And again, there are no errors. This means we have access to this mailbox. The account I'm using is able to open the mailbox. I can view any folder. In case I'm troubleshooting calendars, I can review who created this folder, what is the object type and which items it contains. If I double click on the creator, I will not get the name, but I will get the seat, which will help me. I can now run a search and find out who is the owner of the seat, if it was the QMM service account of, or if it was another account who created the calendar folder. This tool allows me to inspect and analyze absolutely all the attributes. I can browse all folders inside the mailbox and of course I am not supposed to receive any errors. This will confirm my account has rights to open this mailbox. This tool is very useful when troubleshooting the public folders. I can verify the access to the public folders. If I don't get any errors, it means the account has sufficient rights to open the public folders and I can go and examine the public folders. As you can see, we have an Elite AMW recycle bin and we can now open the properties of any public folder. We can inspect absolutely all the attributes and confirm when the public folder was created, who was the creator, the owner and most importantly we can check the source key. We know that this tool is using the source key when matching public folders. So we can use this tool and verify if the source key in the source is matching to the source key in the target. Basically using this tool we can look up the source key of a public folder. If we click on the non-IPM subtree we can go to the schedule plus FreeBSY and we can look up the FreeBSY messages. This is very useful when using collaboration services or the QMM tool and synchronizing FreeBSY information. Using this tool we can confirm that the user indeed has a FreeBSY message. And we can look up who created this FreeBSY message, who was the creator and the time when it was created. 
this is very very helpful when troubleshooting different issues related to the free busy synchronization in some cases another tool has created the free busy message and then the quest tool is not able to replace this message or to create another one once more this powerful tool doesn't require an installation it requires just a mappy cdo and it helps you if not to resolve the issues and at least to find the root cause